Welcome back to the Fit and Nerdy channel. So today I want to go over my blood work like I had promised in my update video and in my uh, my previous video saying pregnant alone, it makes me feel younger. And it does. I feel a lot better on it. I feel like I recover faster. And I want to see if there's anything in the blood work that would indicate why that would be or if it's just a placebo effect. So, without further ado, let us get into that blood work. So, if you look at this, uh, TSH went down about 20%, T4 went down about 15%, but they were all well high at the top. The, the T4 is way, uh, it was actually above the reference range, so if anything, that's probably a good thing that my T4 is actually a little bit lower. White cell count actually went up. Red cell count went down about five percent, and uh, five to five to ten percent, and then the rest remained relatively similar, around five percent as well. Uh, hemoglobin and hematocrit. So, but nothing, no, no dramatic impact on blood work in that regard. And then looking at my uh, uh, metabolic panel, glucose went up two points, which is less, less than five percent and bun went up about 10%, but then if you look on the next page, my creatinine's actually a little lower. It's down by, you know, five-ish percent. So again, I take creatine, so I don't really put a lot of stock into these numbers. According to my doctor, if I'm taking that and I also work out, these numbers are going to be high in general. Uh, I will note my ALT went up, my AST went down. Uh, I noticed that these numbers have been elevated since I've been supplementing copper every day. And so I'm going to reduce the frequency, do it every other day and see if that brings these numbers down back into the twenties like they used to be. Uh, I'm not in liver toxic territory, but my liver en enzymes are definitely higher than baseline for me. So I definitely want to get that, uh, figured out. Um, cholesterol unchanged uh if anything actually a little bit better because my hdl actually came out a few points higher um everything else remains relatively unchanged my triglycerides are up a bit but i'm way below the you know the, the quote-unquote high risk range so again uh ldl and hdl were pretty much unaffected by by pregnenolone which is good and then hemoglobin did go up uh 0.1 percent I'm not too worried about it as long as it's staying around five. Uh, you know, that that's good, but it means that my uh, I'm not in any risk of diabetes. So moving on, testosterone went down about 5%. Again, I'm not that worried about that. That's a very, I'm still over 600. Uh, LH stayed the same. FSH actually went up 30%, which in my mind could be a good thing. And then there is, of course, the elephant in the room that my prolactin is high. I did run out of Gorilla Dream during this time, which has B6 in it, which is known to actually reduce your prolactin. So I'm wondering if that's why I had a spike in prolactin. Uh, I will redo blood results in the coming months to double check to see if this number remains elevated on pregnenolone or not, because I don't intend to stop. And then actually my estradiol dropped by about almost 30%. Um, you know, pr which means I have noticed I've been holding less water weight. So, uh, that actually kind of makes sense that my estradiol is down means my estrogen may be down and my IGF actually, uh, went up by about 15% and my vitamin D went down, but that was because I've reduced my vitamin D intake. And now I'm finally within the reference range again. Uh, I noticed it went up higher when I started taking copper alongside my vitamin D. So, I guess, you know, supplementing those together caused my levels to get too high. So now I've backed down from, I, wa I was having to take about 10,000 to 12,000 I use a day of vitamin D to get my numbers into the reference range because it was at about 30 to now I'm only supplementing without 3,000 I use a day and then taking copper alongside it. And now my vitamin D is great. And then... Uh, Last but not least, let's look at the uh, the free test numbers. And this is where I was very surprised with my blood work. Uh, free test almost doubled. You know, this is like 80 something percent increase in my free testosterone. And that's probably why I feel better because free testosterone is the one that's actually bioavailable to all your tissues. 
progesterone has been bouncing between 0.3 and 0.4, so unremarkable. And finally, and this is the first time I've ever seen this, I've had a considerable drop in ferritin from 423 to 4, 346. So the pregnenolone did that. I haven't gotten blood draws or anything, and my, my ferritin went down. So uh, I guess whatever pregnenolone is doing is finally clearing up why I had high ferritin. Uh, T3 remains relatively unchanged. And then there was an almost 10% drop in my SHBG, which I don't know if that's the pregnenolone that's doing that or or what. But again, uh, ultimately, some good looking blood work for me from the pregnenolone. It increased it was from the free testosterone perspective. So uh, there you have it. That's what pregnenolone did for me. The The biggest notes is the uh, lower estradiol, higher free testosterone, lower SBHBG, but there was an increase of prolactin. Again, I don't know if it's because of the pregnenolone or if that's because I ran out of Gorilla Dream at the same time and, that B, and I wasn't taking B6, so my pre- prolactin kind of spiked a bit because I was no longer taking the thing that would actually lower prolactin. So... Ultimately, you know, if you want to get this a shot, your free testosterone's low, which mine was on the low side of normal or actually low for the most part and has been for quite some time. And then I took this and as you can see, now I'm in the reference range again and now, you know, <laughs> definitely feeling better. So I would say that that's probably why is because of the free testosterone boost that it gave me, you know, my total tests you know, in this particular situation doesn't seem to really matter. But yeah, uh, I recommend definitely getting blood work done before you go to take any supplements like this beforehand. Again, I'm not a doctor. Uh, I'm just some dude that likes to experiment on himself and see if he can make himself feel better and increases, uh, you know, vitality and longevity. Uh, That's all I got for today. So in the meantime, stay safe.